The Tokyo Olympics, brought to you on Channel 3 by the Mark Height team. Together, everyone achieves more. And by Arby's. We have the meats. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Friday morning and the extremely long wait for the Tokyo Olympics is over. Yeah, extremely is an understatement, I think, even though it took a year because of the pandemic. NBC's Kurt Gregory joins us now from Tokyo with a preview of the opening ceremony. Excitement is building and the countdown is on. It is almost time. Almost time, John and Lori. You guys sound pumped up, and I know we are here in Tokyo. We're excited about what's ahead. The final stages of the Olympic countdown finally here. The Olympic City is ready because it's showtime. As the countdown clock races to zero, finishing touches are being put in place at the Olympic Stadium. First Lady Jill Biden is here for the opening ceremony. 200 American athletes will march in the Parade of Nations. The USA flag bearers, baseball infielder Eddie Alvarez, and women's basketball legend Sue Bird. It just felt kind of awkward to have the, the, the light shined on me for, for those, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. Um, but I better get used to it because soon I'm going to be holding a flag in front of a lot of people. Yeah, right, right. NBC's Savannah Guthrie will co-host the festivities along with Mike Tirico. It's going to be epic. It's going to be spectacular in its own way. The United States has a spectacular start for U.S. rowers. Kara Kohler advancing in single skulls. The tandem of Jevy Stone and Christy Wagner also moving into the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, U.S. archers taking aim in the ranking round. The wait, almost over. The games, ready to begin. And we can now share the theme for the opening ceremony, which you'll enjoy in just a few short moments. It's United by Emotion. And John and Lori, with everything that this world has been through in the last 15 or 16 months, I think they got this one spot on. Back to you. Yeah, hit the nail uh, on the head there. Kurt, I got to ask you, this is, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I believe your 11th yeah. Olympics that you covered. Sure. Traditionally, first of all, congratulations, that's quite the run, but traditionally on this Thank opening you. day, yeah. what do you look forward to the most in terms of the excitement as it builds, the opening ceremonies? What, what's kind of your, your go-to yeah. favorite? Mm, we were talking about that, and I'd say there's probably three from every opening ceremony. Number one is the Parade of Nations, of course, with the U.S. when they walk into the stadium. It's a great moment. The one that always gets to me, right to my heart, is the Olympic anthem. When they raise the flag and you see the Greek high priestesses, it's, uh, it's a very emotional moment. and It makes my skin crawl every time I see it. And, of course... I guess, you know, everybody's crowning moment is when the cauldron is finally lit. I think we're going to see a celebration across the city. I anticipate fireworks here behind me in the harbor. It's going to be a spectacle, and we just can't wait to bring it all to you. Yeah, goosebumps for a certain Kurt Gregory. We, we appreciate it. We look forward to talking yes. to you for the next couple of weeks. Uh, have a wonderful time. I know you got a lot of other people to talk to, so thank you very much. And We'll do it again on, uh, on Monday. <laughs> Have a good day, Chris. Sounds good. My pleasure. <laughs>